is dedicated to every channel out there on YouTube telling drivers to just settle, to just give up, take whatever these apps give you, or go get a different job. A lot of them are saying that. But here we got Massachusetts drivers doing the same thing that the New York drivers did. People are getting up and fighting back. This is why, why we got to do this. If nobody fights back, they're going to keep doing this to all the apps, all the drivers. DoorDash, you know, Uber Eats, uh, Lyft, everybody. They all going to be doing this. Just beating up on drivers, creating a slave environment. But yet, finally, we got people out there strong enough saying, you know what? We ain't dealing with this shit. Y'all coming to our neighborhoods. Y'all taking our economy out of the neighborhoods. Y'all fattening all y'all corporate pockets. Y'all leaving all of us broke. And this is why when I hear stuff coming from any of the channels, I'm like, they just don't get it, man. These dudes got small brains. These girls got small brains. We out here really doing something in this country for the drivers of this country that are making the economy of this country work. We're logistics. We're getting people around. We're doing things for people. Yet all of these people, they don't do nothing. They sit around there, oh, well, if you don't like it, just go get another job. If you don't like it, go do this. If you don't like it, go do that. But what you don't understand is that a lot of people that are basic, average, everyday drivers were risking our lives every day, literally risking our lives every day for a fair shake at the table when it comes to the industry of ride sharing delivery. That's all we're looking for is a fair shake. Ain't nobody trying to get rich. But at the same time, we ain't trying to sit in the poor house. We ain't trying to sit around in poverty all the time. While all these rich people are getting banked. This is plantation mentality, slave mentality. They getting banked up and all these channels will just take it. You know what I'm saying? If, if you don't like $10 an hour, then just go do something else. You got to just take it. Take what they give you. Be okay with what they give you. And that's the mantra these channels are out there promoting. And they're upset at channels like me. They got passion for the families in this country willing to stand up and fight for the people out here who's working hard just like I do. Nobody here wants to be put in poverty. Nobody wants to use nice ass cars to end up with busted engines and transmissions all because we didn't get paid enough because we settled for shit. That's why I am the way I am. And while I'll never change, you come to my channel, I got your back. I'm not going to sit there and sell you the fuck out just because I want to create a better channel in case an app looks at my videos. Give a fuck about these apps. They don't give a fuck about me either. I can already see our buddy here is already talking about it. Hey, he's on top of it. I'm telling you, a lot of channels ain't going to discuss it. So I like to click like on everything. I, I go to his channel and click like on everything, but I don't comment. Y'all know how I am. I'm coming at you from a different angle today. Today I had a question in one of my comments about this guy said, you know, do you think, you know, driving long hours and everything, you think driving for too long creates depression? And in my opinion, me, I love to drive. I've been driving my whole life. Motorcycle owner for the last 25 years. You know, a lot of cars I've driven back and forth across the country. I've driven, you know, from Missouri to West Virginia just to ride the Blue Ridge Mountains for eight days on my motorcycle. I love to drive. Driving is my peace. I like to cruise. I like the sound of my engine, my exhaust. I like to play my music. I like to cruise. That's just what it is. I love to drive. I always used to drive to LA all the time. I used to take my kids on drives with me. They love to drive. Just like some people like to fly, I like to drive. Some people like to ride motorcycles. I like to drive. Love being on the road. So I don't think driving is what creates depression. I think depression is when you're doing something that you love to do and people are fucking you over while you're doing it. That's where I think the depression comes from. We got truck drivers that drive a lot. Mail carriers, they deliver mail a lot. I mean, anybody who drives, you know, courier trucks and stuff like that around town, they all drive a lot. So we do a lot of things when it comes to driving and when it comes to, you know, logistics and all of that. We don't like to get screwed over. That's where the depression sets in. A lot of people who have W-2s do jobs for years, go to counseling about their jobs. They're upset about their jobs. Their jobs cause frustration. Doing something you love to do, doing something you're passionate about and not getting paid properly will piss you off. It will. To say it won't, maybe you don't have a soul, you don't have RVs. I don't care what they pay me. I just like to do this. I don't care what they pay me. I, you know, No, it'll piss you off. And I'm one of those people that believes that people who started doing ride sharing, gig work and delivery are people who don't mind being in their cars. Because if you mind being in your car, this probably ain't for you. 
it ain't for you. You got to love being in your car. So no, driving doesn't create depression. Driving is the opposite of it for me. I love being out in the desert. I love going off road. I like hitting the highway, just driving north, music blasting, windows down, sunroof back. I love to drive. So that can't be the problem. The problem is when you know you deserve more than what somebody's trying to give you. Like I said, I wear my shirt sometimes. Look at that. By the time they realize your worth, you'll be worth more. These are the kind of these are the thoughts I have in my head, the things that I surround myself with because it's the energy that I'm on. I'm passionate about my energy. I'm passionate about my value and my worth. A lot of people are not. I don't fuck with them, so I could care less what they think about me. I know me. You value yourself enough, you won't let nobody fuck you over. And you'll get mad when people try. That's what's going to hurt you more than anything else when people try you. You remember when you was little, your mom was like, try me if you want to. That's the kind of shit we own. Try me if you want to. And I'm not one of those people that's going to sit around and allow a corporation. Like I said, I was corporate. I'm not going to allow a corporation to beat down on me, to try to treat us like slaves, to try to treat us like we mean nothing. We're nothing to them except a profit center. Each person is not a family. Each person is not an individual, a driver, a human life. No, these people are profit centers to them. They don't even think, well, this driver probably got kids at home. You think we should probably pay him a little more? You know, he's, he's got kids in college. They're like, man, fuck that driver. Oh, man, this driver, he's having car problems. He, this dude, he need new tires on his car, man. You, you just think we should pay him a little bit more for this trip? Man, fuck him. We're charging this customer $35. We're going to give him fucking $11. If he don't like it, he can do something else. Fuck him. I don't like people that think that's what depresses you. People that have hearts and souls like that on this planet while we're doing what we enjoy doing. That's what depresses you. Driving, it's the least of my concern. I got a fucking four or five cars at my house. Well, four. Used to have five. Motorcycles left and right. I've owned like nine of those motherfuckers. Used to have a couple of them here. Gave my son one. Now I only got one here. That doesn't irritate me to have vehicles with engines around me and to use those vehicles to drive them. Hours on the road, going places, seeing people, visiting people, cruising around town, the Jeep with the tops off. I love to drive. I just don't like when people fuck with me. That's when I'm going to get mad. I was kind of upset at Uber the other night, so I sent a message and I said, hey, listen, my AR is getting really low and I don't think I'm getting good rides because you guys are sending me, you know, crap rides with my low AR. So can you guys do me a favor and just kind of let me reset my AR so I can get better rides? And this is what Uber said. Go fuck yourself. It's like 8.50 right now. About to get started on this night. What is it? Uh, Thursday night. Let me go see how much fuel I got in here. Let's see what I got. Hold up. So that's how much fuel I got from last night. Yeah, I'm at 209. Now it's 852. So I'm going to try to go out here and let it do what it do. But right now I got all three of these. I got deliveries, Uber Pet, and UberX shared. There's nothing out there right now. So I'm just going to hit the button and see what happens. Like, Whatever happens, happens. I'm at 13%. Yeah, 13% AR. I'm getting down. So they already filled up my, my tires right here at the garage at home. I filled them up real quick before I took off, so I ain't got to mess around with it. But man, this car drives nice. I hate when these goddamn spammers be calling me, man. It's like, get off my fucking phone. I think these spammers, look at that, $2 with some ragged ass jack in the box. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. These damn spammers, man, I swear, I think my phone, like, they got, they know when you're using your phone, like, Wi-Fi and shit like that, because every time I get on my phone, it don't ring all day until I get on it to do something. Next thing you know, fucking spammers start calling me like crazy. Like, stay off my goddamn phone. I don't answer my phone for nothing. If you're in my phone and I see your name pop up, I'll ask, you know, I might answer and ask why you calling, but normally people just text me all the time. 470 for, like, five miles? Nah, I'm cool. Usually I just ask why people are calling because I'm always busy all the time. So I don't want people to slow me down and I don't slow nobody down. So I don't make phone calls. I text people to let them know if I got to talk to them and for approximately how long it's going to be for me to talk to them. I don't like to cold call people, even my family, like my sisters, anybody. I do not cold call nobody. I'm not that fucking bill collector. I'll sit there and be like, hey, I'll text my sister. Hey, you know what? If you got a minute, then the next 10 minutes, can I call you? Yeah. Let me know when. She'll say, oh, now it's fine. Or she'll say, okay, give me 20 minutes. I like to text people because I was always corporate. I hate it when people walked in my office and started fucking talking when I'm in the middle of this big ass accounting project with my brain spinning on how these calculations are working and they just start fucking talking to me. I'm like, dude, don't you see I'm working? 
the fuck, man? Now I got to start my process of thought all the way back over again. So I just learned over time, you know, I don't cold call people. I don't just call nobody's phone. I'll text you first and say if it's okay. 570 for like 10 miles almost, 9 miles? Hell no. Some wing stuff? No, I'm cool on that shit. Almost 30 minutes. That's about $11 right there. Yeah, but I was just, you know, that's just how I'm raised. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't do that to people. And, and when people call me, they probably think, man, he rude. He don't never answer my call. It's because I'm how I'm designed. Don't take that shit personal. I do it to everybody. So I don't want nobody personally thinking, oh, damn, man, this motherfucker never answer my calls. Don't worry. I don't. It's like when my mom was alive and she would call, I would answer because she rarely called me because she's kind of like me. She don't call people. So it's like I would answer because I know she probably just wants something real brief, real quick because she knows how I am. But for the people that knows how I am, nah, they don't fucking call me. They don't bother me. I don't bother them. They don't bother me. We'll send text messages back and forth, laugh, crack up, get cracking. Because usually I'm in the garage. My hands is covered in oil and shit. I'm sitting there working. I just I don't even mess with these phones, man. That's why I don't mind having a $200 phone. That shit don't bother me. It's a $200 phone. I don't need no $1,300, $1,400 phone. That shit don't bother me anyways. I don't even mess with them. You're like, dude, you need to get you an iPhone. I'm like, why? I don't even, my phone's like sitting on the dresser all day. Why well, I want to go pay $1,400 to sit a phone on a dresser? Keep that fucking phone. I got my $200 phone. It's sitting on the dresser. I do not answer my phone. Fuck no. I, like I tell people, man, I'm old school. I weld some shit in a heartbeat. I love to weld. You you tell me, it's, it, Jeff, it's a stack of metal sitting over at these people's house. Shit, I'm in my truck going to go pick it up. But you tell me, hey, man, I'm going to call you. Don't fucking call me. Unless it's a stack of metal sitting in front of somebody's house. <laughs> metal is expensive, goddammit. Hey, man, we got all this metal sitting in front. All right, I'll be over there in a minute, shit. Well, other than that, nah, y'all know how I roll, man. I'm just an easygoing driver. I love to drive. It's my piece. You know, I'm listening to some Don Tolliver. Worth it. Off Don Tolliver with Offset. Worth it, man. Well, it's Offset, and he's featuring Don Tolliver. It's called Worth It. Man, that song is the hit. And they got the Busta Rhymes track kind of underlaying it. Man, that shit is clean. But while I'm driving around right now, I'm going to hit it up here by ASU. Looks like y'all some surge at the airport. Yeah, they got a little surge. Dollar, dollar, make you holler looking ass airport. I ain't going over there. My trunk too small anyways. I can't even fit my lunchbox in my trunk. I'm not going no motherfucking airport. <laughs> Kicking back. I'm up near the airport almost. They keep trying to send me over by the airport. I just don't want to go over there. I mean, he's like 11 miles for like seven bucks. Shit like that. He just sent me something that was like 33 miles for like $35 from the airport. It's like, I don't want to go. Like, shit like that. You know, 31 miles. I mean, 30, almost 39 miles for $30. That's way the hell out. I don't live up there. It's like somebody that lives up there got to take that. That's their ride home. It's like I live way down here where I'm at. Because I get a ride up there, I got to turn around and come back. So that's like almost 80 miles I'm getting for $31. 80 miles for 31 bucks. Because there's no guarantee. They need to have some type of weird guarantee. Like on Nature Hikes, we guarantee if we don't find you a ride back, we'll give you at least 50% of the ride that got you up there. Maybe some shit like that. Tip included. So if the people tip me $15, $20, you know, that's $50. They got to give me $25 if I can't find a ride back. $12 for like, nah, I'm cool on that. $12 for like 13, 14 miles. And I got Uber running right now. But the problem with Uber is that I'm in a boost zone right now. Uber don't send you no rides when you're in a boost zone. I'm in a $3.50 boost zone till 10 o'clock. So I'm probably not going to get no rides. Like, and you can see it. I'm on Uber X right now. Deliveries are busy right now. But let's turn on deliveries and see what they got over there. But for the most part, I'm not going to get no rides on Uber because they don't want to pay the extra $350. And that's how these raggedy motherfuckers be. When they see that they got to pay some money, are oh, they going to find any way around it? Look at that. $10, $10 for 20 miles, $11 for 11 8 for 9 I'm like, these are all 30-minute rides. Everything's like 30 minutes, so that's $20 an hour. This right here is like, what, 23 minutes for $7, 5 miles. Nope. No fucking hot dogs. You can go to, look at this, 24 minutes, $6. And none of these got that boost in it. None of them have the boost. Whoops, almost hit it. Yeah, $5 for like five miles. None of these things have the boost in it. So, because the boost is for rides only. Because like I said, you can see this right here. Here's the boost. And that's your boost right there. With, but it's only every trip, like every ride, that's it. You don't get it if it's if it's anything else. If it's a delivery, you can't get it. So that's why they're they're quick to send me a ton of deliveries 
but they won't send me no rides because they don't want to pay. They want drivers online, so we're not driving for Lyft. That's about it. Because they'll be like, well, if we can take them off a of Lyft, then, you know, at least we'll keep them busy with a bunch of deliveries and shit, so Lyft ain't getting no money. But, well, why don't you give me a ride, Uber? Uber's like, no, fuck that. We're not giving you no ride. We got $11, 11 miles. It's taking somebody to the airport. So I'm like, well, it's picking up somebody from the airport. You go to pick them up, and then you bring them back. It's like, no, I'm cool on that shit. Not for no $11. Like I said, maybe you make that like $15, $20, I'll do it. $9 for like about 10 miles? No. They were sending me comfort rides a minute ago, and I haven't seen that in a long time. I was like, oh, shit. They sent me like two comfort rides back to back. I was like, man. But these rides, they're all lift rides. They're, I mean, if they would be on Lux, we'd be doing some work right now. But, you know, they don't pay us Lux rates for these nice-ass cars, so you got to send us some, some better rides. Give us some surge or something like that. $13 to 12 miles is the airport ride. No, we're cool on that shit. Let's see. Hope this is a short one right here. What is this? $31. American Airlines going. No, that's the one I just saw. That was $31. That was on Lyft 2 at $31. Damn, that's crazy. $18 right there for 11 miles. No. Nah. Because nah. that's with an extra $5 in boost right there, too. So, nope. Let's go look at Lyft real quick. Six dollars for that? No, Lyft is not Lyft. I gotta turn Lyft off because they just irritate me. They don't. They don't have enough money on their app. They just don't. Oh, okay. They're gonna make me probably. Oh shit! I'm by the airport. They are gonna log me out and make me log back in in a second. If I if I decline one more or two more airport rides, they're gonna boot me out. So I might have to accept it and then just cancel it. Because <laughs> they're gonna boot me out if I decline it. These motherfuckers, they do that shit. If you keep declining airport rides, they'll kick you out of the queue. Then they'll kick you out. Then they'll just take you completely off the app. It's got to go all the way back through. Reset your city. Your volume be through the roof and shit again. Like, man. So we'll see what they come up with. We'll see. But like I said, I'm not going nowhere. I'm just sitting there chilling, relaxing. Oh, now they don't got lift on. They're like, oh, yeah, he ain't got lift on. Don't send him no rides. Now watch I go back in and turn the lift back on. I'm like, oh shit, he's back on lift. Send him a ride. Watch. And that's how these apps do. They wait to see who's on which app you're online with. Because Uber won't send you shit until you go on Lyft. Lyft won't send you shit until you go on Uber. What did I tell you? See? Trip radar. As soon as I say, oh, and this is a got they're trying to anything they can do to keep me three dollars for 23 minutes of, of dicking around with this for four miles. Anything they can do to get me not to drive for Lyft. Look at that, $29, way the fuck up there. Man, that's a long-ass hike. On comfort at that, on comfort. Nah, that's like a dollar a mile on comfort. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. And that's the thing, Lyft don't give tips. This is the ride I did last night for six bucks. I still don't have a tip on it. So I don't really like driving Lyft because Lyft don't pay shit. They don't, they don't give you your tips on Lyft. Oh, what is that? Going downtown, Roosevelt and Roosevelt. Yeah, 1286 for about nah, I'm cool on that shit. $17 for about 18 miles. That's going way far south from the airport. Nah. And that's another comfort ride right there. So, nah. They gotta they've gotta do something better than these. These prices are just not worth the time. Like I said, I'll go home with 20 fucking dollars. But I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight as much as I can. I saved up for a rainy day. This is the fight I saved up for. This is what I did. I got to do private rides. I got to get my private people set up, whatever it takes. But I'm not going to just roll over and let these motherfuckers do what they want to do. No. These people going to be sent at the airport until they either get a private ride or until they like go up to an Uber Black or something. I don't fucking know. Look at this shit. $3 to go down. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. $3 to go about two miles. Nah, that's somebody leaving some apartments, going to some apartments. I don't feel like going back down there by ASU. There's a lot of traffic down there anyways. Because right when you go over the bridge, it's nothing but just pure. They're doing too much construction over there. It's all traffic over there. So it's like, nah, I'm not going back that way. I'll do an airport ride, but they got to pay me, though. Because this shit they be talking about, it ain't worth it. It's not worth it. Let's go back on Uber Eats real quick. See what they talking about. You'll probably see me like 10 Uber Eats orders and shit back to back. With no boost applied to none of it. See what I tell you, 444 for that? No, I'm cool on that shit. 
Let's see, twenty-seven dollars to go out to Goodyear. Nah, it's way. Out. That's, that's for Juan Vargas. Hopefully, he can get that, and he'll probably get like thirty-five, forty dollars out of that. But I'm not going down the highway for now. Nah, cool on that shit. Cause like I said, I gotta come all the way back. I only want to do short trips around my area. Cause if I get way out there for tw going twenty-four miles that way, I gotta come twenty-four back. That's forty-eight miles, and I'm going for twenty-seven dollars. It's not worth it. Like I said, and these motherfuckers, they're going to send me Uber Eats back to back, but they won't send me no Uber rides because I'm declining all these Uber rides. $10 to go to Scottsdale? No, we're cool on that shit. $10 for 11 miles? Nope. What you got over here? $11 for 11. Nah, I'm cool on that too. They're going to keep sending me Uber Eats. Let's see what this is talking about. 1650 for like 21 miles. Not nah, as way too far north. And that's farther north than the 31 dollar ones they was trying to send me. Six dollars for 11 miles. Mm, nah, we're cool on that. See what you're talking about on lift. 12 dollars for about 17 miles. Man, that's way and that's far south of the 202 South. Man, that's that's a shot out there. That's way down south. And there's no guarantee I'm gonna come back. I did a ride out there one time. I did that one from the airport down there even less than that it was less than that and i got fifty dollars for it so they trying to give me twelve dollars for a ride that i did for 50 i've done that ride before but it was fifty dollars and it was on uber x on top of that it was on uber x fifty dollars down there and that was the ride that knocked me off that one night juan vargas and all them made all that money and i made about 250 300 that night and they all made like 600 i did that same ride for fifty dollars they just tried to offer me 12 for it <laughs> now that went up to 28 dollars all the way out to Goodyear, 28. Now, I'm not driving way out there. Not for that price. 454? Nah. Let's turn Uber Eats off real quick. Because Uber Eats is putting a bunch of bullshit out there. Let's turn them off. Because they ain't really paying nothing. I mean, they got a whole bunch of, you know, 20, 30 minute orders for like four and six dollars and shit like that. It's like, nah. I'm not going to be fucking driving around, dicking around through traffic, hitting potholes and shit to get six dollars every 25 minutes. It's like, I'm cool on that shit. I could just sit in my car here and make that. Like, fuck that. Like I said, a lot of us, man, we just, the way we drive is just not, these apps are not going to be making the profit margins they making. And for a lot of people out here, you know, that are that are driving and letting these, letting these apps eat them alive, look at that, $6 for two miles. I could do that. Yeah, let's do that. I could do that. Picking up Lexi, she's right around the corner. Cool. So let's go around the corner and pick up Lexi. I do that ride. Cause like I said, that's six bucks and for way less miles. There's another one of those stupid ass pickups where I'm right here and this person is way over here. So I don't quite get what's going on because they're probably in a building behind me, but there's a lot of traffic coming around me and stuff like that. New it's coming down right Lexi. now. Coming down right now. Okay, because I swear to God, I'm about to take off in a fucking minute. There's too many cars. I don't like when people aren't already at the pickup. Can't stand that shit. It's like, man, there's too many fucking cars around here for all that. Cars zipping. And I'm sitting here. There's no stop sign or nothing. I'm just sitting in the middle of the fucking street right now. There's no stop sign nowhere. I'm like waiting on these people sitting in the street with cars going all around me. This is not a parking spot. This is a street that I'm sitting in right now. Hoping the motherfucker don't rear end me or side swipe me. So I can get this six fucking dollars. Like Jesus Christ. Goddamn almost a $50,000 fucking car. And I'm waiting on six dollars. Getting my car fucking wrecked for six fucking bucks. It's like be outside. Jeez man. I swear I'm, I'm at the fucking point where I'm about to cancel this motherfucker and just go. I was cool sitting where I was sitting. So now I'm going to park right here next to a fucking tree. Like I said no stop sign. Whew. These fucking people boy. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I could care less at this fucking point. Really, I can't. I'm done. Just today is not my fucking day. I'm going to cancel this motherfucker. I'm out of here. Today is just not my day. We'll do something different. Yeah, so I'm going to sit at this parking lot. Wait a minute. Point three of a mile for a three mile trip. Oh, no. That's going down. Nah, fuck that shit. That's going south. You know, let's turn this shit off. I need to go farther north. I need to get away from this fucking area right here. Cause there's, there's way too much bullshit going on over here. So I'm gonna get the fuck away from over here. 
I'll probably listen to me some music and take my ass downtown. There's too much traffic over here. I got to go somewhere else. All right. Now I'm sitting down on 7, relaxing at my Circle K. Let's see what we got out here right now. Like I said, I had to get away from Tempe, man. It was way too much traffic, too much construction. Motherfuckers ain't on their grind. They got to they gotta get on the ball, man. These rides don't cost a lot. You got to get on the ball. I'm just one of them. Like I said, if you if you a rider and you know you ain't paying a lot, you know you probably ain't tipping, you know you might get left behind. And there's a lot of us out there right now. Where's that at? 13 miles going up to Glendale? No, I'm cool. I ain't going that far out. Yeah, a lot of us, you know what I'm saying? We... If, if you get a good driver that's going to wait on you and everything else, you need to tip these people. We don't usually get tips for waiting. We get that shit a whole lot away from I'll be right there. We never get tipped. We never get tipped. That's why a lot of us just don't even fucking wait. We just won't do it. So what you got to do is once you do a driver like that, look out for that driver on everything. Get that motherfucker money right in his hand. 1450 for 18 miles north. Nope. Give him money right to his hand. Don't be like, I'm going to tip you in the app. Because we done heard that so much, we leave motherfuckers hanging all the time for saying that shit. I'll be right down, cancel, because we keep hearing, well, I'll just tip you in the app, and we never get it. So if you motherfuckers are tipping us in the apps, and the apps are still in our tips, blame the app for you motherfuckers getting left behind all the time. Blame the apps for it. But if y'all passing us tips through Cash App, through Venmo, through Cash hey, here's five bucks, thank you for being courteous and waiting, when I know you could have been doing something else with the time you're waiting, I appreciate that. Show some appreciation. But it's motherfuckers that don't show appreciation. There's always thinking it's funny and shit. I'll tip you in the app and they laugh. I'm not tipping them. Fuck, that's his job to wait. Their job's to wait. Motherfucker, I'm not a waiter. I'm a driver. That's why I don't mind canceling the motherfucker. I'm not a waiter. It's like, if you're not ready, the next motherfucking driver will be there. I'm not a waiter. I'm a driver. Get another driver. And people go, well, you wasn't doing nothing. You know, you just, I don't give a shit. Waiting is one thing I don't do. Respect my time, respect my space, respect this fucking car. It took me a lot of money to buy this car. I fixed this shit with my bare hands and shit, busting my knuckles fixing this motherfucker. Respect this car, because if you don't, fuck it. What, is, what do you care if I leave you or not? If you don't respect the car, then you don't give a shit if I leave you or not, because you can get another car right behind it that you don't respect. Get another driver right behind it you don't respect. So what do you give a fuck if I leave you or not? You don't care. So if you don't care and I don't care, next Fuck it, I'll just wait for a higher paying ride. Like I said, this shit is business like that, man. This is how this shit works. So if you're not outside, when your car gets there, your ride gets there, at least take care of the driver in a real sense. Hey, here's $5, $10. I'll tip you on the app right now. I'll even show you that I tip you on the app. Look, I showed you right. Look, I tip you $5 right here on the app. If the app don't give you that money, here you can take a picture of my phone. Take a picture of my phone showing that I tip you 5 bucks. So when a driver get a $2 tip in a fucking hour, we'll know the app stole $3 from us. Yeah, I'm up got to learn to take care of these drivers because I've been burnt enough with the I'll tip. I even got a shirt saying that shit. I'll tip you in the app. This is a big fucking joke. Motherfuckers tired of them games, man. I'll tip you in the app. He, 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 he. Like it's fucking funny and shit. It's like you wasting my motherfucking time and effort. It's like I could be somewhere chilling, relaxing, making content, doing whatever the fuck I want to do other than fucking around waiting on somebody who's probably upstairs doing the final shot, putting their shoes on and shit, brushing their motherfucking hair, sitting on the motherfucking internet. Well, I just told him we'll be down in a second. He'll wait. Yeah, you think so. You, you wrong fucking driver. You better hope it's somebody else because I'm one of them cats that just, you know what? I've been doing this for a long time. I respect people way too much, respect them way too much. If I ever have, even when I go get my oil change, I tip the motherfuckers doing my, they get paid to change my oil. I mean, they get paid, they get paid to inspect our cars at the oil change places. That's where they inspect all of our cars at. So when I go there and I get my car inspected, I tip them. They get paid by the place. I don't have to tip them. I tip them because I'm grateful. Grateful that they're there at work today doing that shit just to make them feel a little bit better. I pass that fucking energy. There's not enough motherfuckers out there willing to pass good energy. Everybody's trying to get over on somebody. So I don't give a fuck about people like that. I just really don't. I keep that shit moving. When somebody passes me good energy, I generally appreciate the shit and I respect it. Because it's uncommon in today's world for a motherfucker to pass you good energy just because. It's always got to, well, if I give you a tip... You gonna drop me off at Circle K and then take me to my cousin house and then pick up my dog and then drop me off at my friend house and then take me at work in the morning. I'll give you five dollars. Go again. 0.7 of a mile away with 1.7 miles or 1.9 miles of drop off for seven bucks. We're gonna do this again. Ashton, do not 
get left behind, my brother. Don't get left behind. Be ready. Two real quick trips, like back to back. The first one when I was sitting at the gas station at 975, that was the first one I did Ashton. Ashton was actually a woman, not a guy. But this is the cool thing. So it was 675 was the trip. Picked her up, whatever. She was she came down for a party from New Mexico. She was like, I just came down here for a party. We had a company party. Cool, cool. So she said, well, I'll tip you in the app or whatever it is. And I was like, all right, no problem. You can just tip me in the app. She was like, all right. She said, do you guys get the tips? I was like, well, sometimes. She says, well, I thought you guys get 100% of the tips. I'm like, well, if they want to give us the tips, they will. She's like, well, I'll tip you in the app anyways. She said, but here, she gave me a $20 bill. <laughs> I was like, damn, thank I said, thank you so much. She says, no, I just want to make sure, you know, I know it's a very short trip. You probably was hoping for a longer one. Everybody says that shit. This is a short trip. You were probably hoping for a longer one. So I was like, oh, it's cool, it's cool. She says, no, here you go. She gave me a $20 bill real quick. And then, um, then she, so she said when she got out, her husband was in a blue car right in front of me. So as soon as we pulled up, he was getting out of his Uber, it was a blue car. And then she was like, hey, honey. And he was like, oh, you got a nice car. <laughs> and then and they was like, all right, bye. So they went into the building and everything. As soon as I was pulling out, uh, this one hit. It was like 0.7 miles away, 1.1 mile for 479, right around the corner. So I went and picked up Yanelli real quick. And like I said, it was a quick, easy trip, real quick, easy trip. So I got the 1454 plus the 20 in my pocket, $34. And they trying to get me to go back down to Phoenix. I'll take this because I'm going back down there anyways. Otherwise, I wouldn't. It's right behind me. So I'm going to cruise up the street right here, pick up Tristan real quick. And I'm going back downtown because I wanted to be there anyway. So this is my little $6 ride back downtown. But no, tonight's okay. I, you know, I made a judgment call. I said, I'm going to get away from Tempe. It's kind of crazy over here and shit. I'm going to get away from here. So far, it's been amazing. Great, a great call. Great call. Because like I said, she was like, do you guys get your tips? I was like, yeah. She said, well, I heard you guys get 100%. I was like, yeah, well, we post to, but sometimes the app don't give it to us. And she was like, okay, well, I'll tip you in the app anyways. I was like, all right, cool, thanks. She was like, but here, here you go. And she just like, I looked back, I thought she was giving me like a dollar or something like that. She gave me a $20 bill. I was like, oh shit, thank you. It's like, appreciate that shit. Then she tipped me $3 on the app. I was like, man, that look, that was a little quick come up ride. That made, that made up for all the bullshit I've dealt with in the past two nights of being back. That 20 bucks brought my heart back to reality. I'm happy. And I'm like, you know what? It's time to go out, get this fucking money. Let's do this shit. This is what I wanted to do. Get this Beamer fixed. Not have to worry about it leaking. Not worry about the heat or nothing like that. Lady was cool as hell. She's got five sons. She said, yeah, I got five sons. And my youngest one, uh, the 15 year old, they just bought like a little Audi and they're gonna fix it up and do all this stuff to us. I was like, that's the same shit I'm doing with my kid. I'm gonna go get him a little beater car and let him work on it. <laughs> I said, whatever you get, just make sure you know how to work on it yourself because we're not paying shit for a shop. No way, buddy. So if you don't know how to work on it, do not buy it. That's my thing right there. All right, just dropped that last one off. That was at 601 right there. So I made 27 and 20 so far, plus the $20 cash. These are my last few trips right here. So 601, and that was right around the corner, three miles. That was that quick one down the street. And all these are coming out to be a little less than a, a like maybe $2 a mile almost. That was about $1.50 a mile. But this one for the 1.1, that was when I got the $20 tip. So that kind of helps out everybody for the night. Where am I at right now? I'm in a dollar fifty booth zone. Man, it's all garbage out there. They got something big going on down in Phoenix right now. Some really fun stuff, like all the Christmas parties and all that shit's going on. So I'm trying to see if I can stay down in that area at least to get a little extra money. But uh, I don't know. Some of these trips, man, they they're still sending those nature hikes and shit, man. Eleven miles, twelve miles, all these things. I'm like, I can't be doing all that. I don't want to go way out there like that shit right there. Uberx share. I don't know. That's like what? Eight dollars for like almost nine miles almost. So I don't want quite do that. I'm gonna start heading back towards Phoenix in a second. All these slow ass cars can hit their gas pedal and move. There we go. Now we getting somewhere. Let's roll, let's rock and roll. Alright. So let's see what kind of cheap rides they got coming down the pipe now. Because I don't mind like the little 3.4 miles for six bucks. That was cool. It got me up to this area. So now I'm kind of cruising around right now up near the Melrose area trying to grab at least a ride back down towards Phoenix. So if I can get something, no, I'm not doing that. Wing stop for five bucks. 
Nah, you guys are good. You guys ain't hungry yet. And you start adding some tips on these little deals and shit. Man, what the hell, man? Get your ass out the way. These motherfuckers can't drive out here. These motherfuckers all in the middle of the damn street. $15 to go all the way back down to Tempe. Oh, should I go back? No, nah, I'm not going back to Tempe. I left Tempe. I don't want to go back down there yet. It's too much crazy traffic. It's only 11 o'clock right now. Tempe is kind of crazy. So I'm staying away from there. Let's go see what Lyft's got going on over here. Let's jump on Lyft real quick. See what Griff got going. All right. I don't think they got any surge or nothing like that going on. They got a little surge. I'm headed down to some surge right now. All right. So the moment I go online, that surge is going to disappear like in a U shape right where my car is. And they're going to have all the surge like right below me. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I'm online. Let's see if they make this surge disappear to be like a U shape. Damn. $10 for like 18 miles. Sheesh. That's crazy. No, we're not doing that. It's $10 for like 18 miles. That's nuts. Let's see what Uber's got going. $10 for about 15 miles over there. Nope, not that one either. $7 for about seven miles comfort. Nope, I don't want that one either. I'm going to have to get up here and sit in the parking lot so I can relax and chill for a while and go through some of these rides because they're going to start. Look at that. They made that disappear. $5 for about five miles. Mm -hmm. Nah, we cool on that shit. And I was right on the corner by where I was. Whoever that was is like, man, there's the car right there. Nope, that's not the car right there. <laughs> shit. I'm still moving on. You are not getting a ride for no five bucks for five miles. Doubt it. Two dollars for that? Nah, we cool on that shit too. You know, let's just turn lift off real quick because I don't think they're ready to work yet. So we'll turn lift off. When they get ready to work, I'll turn them back on later on. But right now, they're they still trying to figure out their pricing structure right now. Let me go up here. Like I said, I need to go find somewhere to park and chill. I don't got time to go through cheap-ass rides all day. So I'm finally at a point where I can kick back for a second, relax. Let me turn everything off. Uh, $7 for seven miles? No, we're not going to do that. I just got down here. Wait a minute. Lyft had a surge a second ago. What happened? Oh, they had a surge, and they moved it down to the south of me a little bit. Yeah, let me get off a of lift. Yeah, I need to get off Lyft because if they ain't got no surge, you know I don't drive Lyft. That's why Lyft is always at a $0 gain. It's like, nah. Because with no surge, do not drive Lyft unless you got like XL or something that's worth the money. Otherwise, you're going to be out here just spinning your wheels in mud, getting 50 cent a mile, you know, less than a dollar a mile driving comfort and shit like that. It ain't even worth it. It ain't even worth it. But, yeah, they had a few, like, little events down here and stuff like that. So, downtown's kind of jumping. They got a couple of cool little, you know, bars down here. And, hopefully, they start jumping pretty soon. Because if they can get the jumping, shit, I can get some money out of this. Like I said, I'm just chilling downtown right now. They ain't got no surge nowhere. Uber's still running. Let me look at Uber Eats and shit like that. Yeah, ain't nothing really running on that end either. It's only 11 o'clock, so... People ain't going to be starting ready to go home because a lot of people are doing Christmas parties and shit like that right now. And people ain't going to, they're all taking off work tomorrow. And, you know, tomorrow's Friday, so they want to have the big three-day weekend. A lot of Christmas parties. I picked up two people tonight from Christmas parties. Look at that. That's going up to Myrtle Ave, $12, up to 12th Street. Nah, I'm not doing that. That's almost 10 miles for 12 bucks. I don't want that. I'm cool. So, let me see. I'm at 11% right now. Let's go offline for a second. We're going to kick back and relax. I'm still not updating. No. We're going to kick back and relax for a while. I'm going to listen to me some music and see if it'll start surging pretty soon. Yeah, I'm about to roll on back over here and try to post up on my old spot. Like I said, over here is like, man, it ain't nothing over here. It's dead over here. These folks straight up got a Tesla wide open on the side of the road. I bet they broke down. Right, let's see what Uber's got going on out here. I'm going to try to cruise back over to my Circle K. While I'm cruising back over there, I'm going to see if anybody like a short ride, you know, a mile, two mile ride, something like that. I could do something, but yeah, these rides tonight, man, if they not paying, shh, I ain't playing. I'm not driving for these people, man. No. Yeah, so it's got to be, well, there's a couple of bars up here. So I might get a, get a hit for like 0.2 of a mile or 0.3 of a mile in a second because I'm coming up on like a whole little strip of like little bars up here. 
But if I can get past this area without getting a nature hike, I'll be happy. See what I tell you, 0.2 of a mile. <laughs> I told you, I'm coming up on these bars up here. I told you it's going to be like 0.2 of a mile away. I know this market. I'm like, as soon as you get up here, 0.2 of a mile, 0.3 of a mile every time. See, 0.2 of a mile, 0.3 of a mile. And they got nature hikes on both of them. It was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm looking for something two, three miles. Like I said, I know my market that well, where I could predict based on what streets I'm on, what rides are going to hit. And that's why I know when I'm not getting rides, they bullshit and they throttle me and stuff like that. Because I know there's bars up here and there's people outside with their phones trying to get rides. I've been doing this shit for a while in this downtown area. So when I'm kind of cruising and I know I'm near, I'm saying, so, okay, it's going to be 0.2 of a mile, 0.3 of a mile. These bars up here always got people outside trying to get rides. I always say that shit and it never fails. And that's why you see me turn my apps off a lot because I don't want people to bother me. I know some of them got some shit rides, so I'll just turn it off real quick, cruise for a while, then kick it back on. But I'm not going to sit up here all day, you know, fighting and arguing over these, like, BS rides. What was that, 0.7? What was that, UberX share? Nah, that's almost, that's over 13 miles. Nah, $9. Nah, I'm cool, I'm cool. Because this area right here, because it's a lot of, like, and there's ASU students down because there's another ASU down here. See, 0.2 of a mile, 17 miles away. That's, nah, I'm cool on that. $13 for like 17 mile drive up north. A lot of times, you know, when I know I'm coming up in the bar area, just turn your app off. Because most of the time, they're not going to give you the good rides, like the hotels to the hotels or like from a restaurant to a hotel. These are bars right here, not really restaurants. The restaurants are like farther up north, up on Roosevelt. When I get up on Roosevelt, then I could turn the app on, and that's when I get restaurant rides. I'm on Adams right now. These are all the bars where I'm at. Van Buren, Adams, all this. And I'm going to pick up people from up here on Roosevelt, like way up here with this Japanese Friendship Garden. I'm going to pick up people down there and bring them back to where I am right now. But the fact that I'm stuck on this side, come on, car, what the hell's wrong with you? The fact that I'm stuck on this side right here, I got to get farther north so I can grab people and bring them back south. Because this is nothing but bars over here. That's all is over here. Man, this motherfucking, this goddamn Mustang, don't know, finna run a red light, look at you. Don't know where the hell you going. These people, boy, I swear to God, get out the damn way. I got a damn Waymo sitting next to me and shit. Yep, some girl, she's in it like, oh shit. She's laughing and cracking up. But that's why they got, you know, all the short rides have been taken up by those Waymos. One just went around the corner from it. They had a girl sitting in the front seat, in the passenger seat, and a couple of people in the back. But that's, you know, they're doing all the short rides and trying to give us all the nature hikes to get us out of downtown. We know these markets downtown. Or we know what's going on down here. So if they don't want us to work downtown, they want to keep sending us rides, you know, a lot of people are going to be missing out. They're going to be losing out. Because for us to take these nature hikes, you got to pay us some good money. We're not shooting all the way up the highway and going to all these places, whatever, for less than a dollar a mile. You got us going 17 miles away for like 13 bucks, 12, 13 miles away for nine bucks. We're not taking those. We're not doing that. I mean, we're too smart of drivers. We'll just hang out and wait because a lot of people don't want to use the Waymos. Like the one lady I picked up you know, when she was for the holiday party, the lady with the five kids, she gave me the $20 tip. You know what I'm saying? She don't want no Waymo. She wanted a real actual driver. We was laughing, chatting. Her husband, he was in a, showing up at the same time she was and his because he was coming from his little event. So that's sometimes people want to deal with people. They don't want to deal with like, you know, who I want to get a Waymo. Let's see how cool this is. They don't want that. It's like, just give me a regular car, regular driver. I'll deal with it. But as you can see, Uber ain't gave me nothing else because I won't take those nature hikes. They like, damn, this dude ain't taking shit. Nope. And I got away from the bar area, so now I'm getting north toward the restaurant area. Now I'm going to start getting, you know, like, you know, a mile, 0.4 of a mile, 0.5 of a mile. And it's going to be for like six miles, something like that. 0.5 of a mile, take somebody like, you know, four miles. Because usually the people that live close to downtown, they eat down here at these restaurants. Because they're nice. You some nice ass restaurants down here. So they come down here, they hang out, they eat, they drink a little bit, and they go home. See, 0.7 for 10 miles right there. So I'm getting near the restaurant areas right now. So it should be like 0.5 a mile, 0.6 mile, 0.7 mile. That's what's going to start hitting. And I'm not doing that. $12 for 15 miles? No, nah, I'm not doing that. No. But like I said, I know these areas down here because I've done it for so long cruising these areas. You'll start realizing, you know, 
which restaurants are near you that usually have people standing outside with their phones because every time you pass by you see everybody out there with their phones and everything so i know okay i'm about a half mile away from these restaurants i'm gonna start seeing 0 0.5 0 0.6 you know with a with rides out of there see there you go 0 0.5 0 0.6 that's what you're gonna start seeing right now that's going all the way back down to tempe for 11 bucks i don't want to do that so i'm gonna come up here and i'm gonna park my car right here and just kind of kick back and relax and they're probably gonna send me a couple of rides you know hope i'm looking for stuff that's like 0.5 away for like two three miles now they got the airport lighting up yeah i want something that's like 0.5 you know with three miles i'll do that for like six bucks seven bucks i'll do that see 0.6 no nah, scottsdale no nah, no nah, i'm cool see that's the restaurant and that's taking somebody all up to scottsdale somebody came down here to eat not even trying to you know 25 bucks to go 19 miles way up north i'm not trying to do that so you know and i'm doing these you know anybody in phoenix if you want to do the downtown areas you know i'm trying to show you guys what areas to do if you're down on adams then you're going to get a bunch of bars down there once you come up on roosevelt and van buren you're going to get all restaurants up here there's bars up here yeah but the people on the bars up here they usually just hang out and chill at these bars for a while these are mainly the restaurants people trying to you know they're done eating they want to get home before the the two o'clock drunk crowd comes out so kind of chill for a second, sit back, kick back for a second, watch a bunch of trips that'll come up half mile away. They might try to send me to the airport, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Jeff, go four miles down there to pick up somebody, take them eight miles, 12 miles total. We'll give you $11 from the airport. And I'll be like, nope. <laughs> See, there we go, one mile away up to Camelback. So that's about seven miles for seven bucks. Nope, I'm cool on that. I'm cool. But just knowing these markets sometimes, you just know where to position yourself as far as your car goes and stuff like that. What time of day, time of night? I mean, I'm right down the street from my Circle K that I normally sit at. And so I'm, I'm in a pretty good position right now. I can just hang here on the side of the road, kick back, chill, watch, you know, Ubers pick people up, drop people off, whatever. I'm in a no parking zone right now. So they're probably going to come up and cops will probably come up and say, hey, you can't park here. I'm like, I know. <laughs> You're not supposed to park there, sir. I know. I'm not stupid. I know. It's like, motherfucker, it ain't what you know is what you do. Why you doing it if you know you ain't supposed to be doing it? I know. <laughs> like them little fucking kids. Man, get out that tree. I know. Dude, you're going to end up breaking that. I know. Them little kids be saying that shit. Motherfucker, if you know so much, then why you doing it? I don't know. <laughs> on lift right now and look at that 26 dollar extra comfort that's where it's going maricopa for 26 dollars one time uber gave me 43 to do that they're giving me 26 to do that it's like no nah, how did i go from 43 dollars to go to maricopa to 26 dollars to go to maricopa it's like no nah, i'm cool that's that's what 17 dollar difference right there a 17 dollar variance and i'm like no nah, i'm cool on that shit like no nah. And that's extra comfort too. Uber did it on UberX. They gave me $43 on UberX. These motherfuckers giving me extra comfort for $26. <laughs> like, okay, hopefully do get home, man. Look at that, $4 for four miles. No, I'm cool on that shit. Hopefully these people get to where they need to get to. Because like I said, last night I took those people for six bucks. And, and look, it's still six bucks. There's no tip. These people don't fucking tip on Lyft, so I have no fucking problem. If the money ain't there... Like I said, I'm not doing them. I just don't do them. Lyft is not one of those apps where you can focus on tips. You've got to focus on getting your money on Lyft. They don't give you tips on Lyft. It's rare. Like I said, I did my Uber tonight. Motherfucker gave me cash and the lady turned around and tipped me. Nope, $5 for four miles? Nah. So the lady gave me cash. Then she turned around and tipped me on the app at the same time. So, you know, that's Uber though. Uber does that. Lyft, they, they not on that shit. Lyft is on something else. Lyft is like, you know... They're, they're the discount. They're the motherfucking Kmart of ride share. I tell motherfuckers, they the Kmart of ride share. They blue light special ass fucking ride share. Hey, shoppers, would you like a bag of popcorn? Come on in for 15 cents. Get a full bag of popcorn. That's the kind of shit they be on. Shoppers, right now, if you check out within the next 15 minutes, you get a whole candy bar for a dime. These motherfuckers, Kmart specials. Look at that Kmart special. $9 for a little over nine miles. Come to Kmart fuck them it's like i'm not dealing with them let's see what these motherfuckers got 
both bullshit rides. $5 for four miles, $6 for about six miles. Oh, shit. I hate it by mistake. I'm not taking it anyways. I could care less. And that's all the way. That's taking somebody all the American Airlines. Taking them all the way to the airport for six bucks. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not doing that anyways. So let's go back over to Kmart. Shoppers. What do you got right now? Lift. Come buy two pair of fucking socks and a pair of boxing drawers for one dollar. <laughs> oh, shit. Now they match me with that shit. Let's see if I can get out of that. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. Except by accident. Because I'm not going taking somebody all the way to the airport for fucking $6. It's like, no. I'm not doing that. That's just stupid. And that was a guest ride anyways. That wasn't even like a real ride. That's a guest ride at the top. It's $5 for four miles. Nope. See what else they got over here. $4 for 12 miles. 33 minutes. You can get $8 an hour driving around this city. If you did that twice, that's 24 miles. You'll get $8 to go 24 miles. Take you an hour to deliver some ragged ass fucking hamburgers and some nasty french fries. It's like, nope, I'm cool. What this motherfucker talking about on Lyft? $3 for one mile. Uh, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You know, let's just turn Lyft off. Lyft don't have no surge anyways. Fucking see, I'm walking out of Kmart. I'm walking out of Kmart with my shopping basket. Fuck these people. $11 to go like 17 miles way out to Scottsdale. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Like I said, both of these motherfuckers turning into Kmart right now. It's like, nope. Get it right. Get it right. $26 to go. Damn, 7th Street. That's way far north. That's way far north. For, for 31 miles. That's multiple stops. 44 minutes. So that's taking somebody somewhere and bringing them back. You're going probably 15 miles away and coming 15 miles back. Because it's beginning and originating in the same place for that price. Like, nah. Uh, 1174. Yeah, we're not doing that one. 418 for a little over two miles. Eh, fuck it. Let's take it. I ain't doing shit but sitting here. This motherfucker probably sitting right behind me. Told you. Let's go pick up Karen. I hope she don't complain. <laughs> Don't be a Karen, Karen. Jeff, you took too long. Shut up, Karen. Stop being a Karen. <laughs> Karen was not a Karen at all. She was actually pretty cool. Yo, yo. Yeah, she was with her boyfriend. They, and they told me about this place called Glammy's. Glammy's is like a sand dune place. Like you go into Yuma and you got to go north like you go into Vegas. And they said, oh, yeah, it's like sand dunes, like Egyptian sand dunes and everything out there. I was like, what? See, I like picking up people like that. Give me some hookups on spots. Where are we going to? 24th Street. Uh, Carolyn 24th. Do I want to go to Carolyn 24th? I know where Carolyn 24th is. Nah, I'm glad somebody took that because I don't know if I want to do that. Because right now I'm on like, and that's going back towards like, uh, Scottsdale because 24th Street because right now I'm on like 3rd Street, 4th Street, 7th Street. That's where I'm right now. 24th is a little farther east, but then going north. So look at that right there, right there. Ten dollars for 10 miles. No way. Not doing that. But yeah, she was telling me about Glammies and she was like, oh yeah, you will love it out there. You know, there's a lot of people out there with Jeeps and they off-road. They do sand dunes and all that. See, I like meeting people, man. People are cool like that. Cool like that. So I got $31 here, 20 in my pocket. That puts me at approximately 50 bucks. I'm at 50 buckaroos, man. This is the most money I've made in two weeks. <laughs> I love it. Well, Lisa Roger, you guys really been helping me out, you know, with the super chats and stuff like that. And I'm telling you, man, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Because the economy is going bad right now. And just a little bit, you guys be dropping in, helping me out, man. You know what I'm saying? That I still haven't been grocery shopping. I'm down to the bottom of the barrel when it comes to dog treats. I'm at the bottom. I got to go get a whole big bag of dog food because they tore that up. Because I actually bought that dog food when I was still fostering that other dog, the big white dog, Osiris. So they kind of blazed through the dog food. So I got to run and buy more dog food. I got to go get more dog treats. I got to get myself some food. I basically have like no bread left. Because I make a lot of peanut butter jelly sandwiches, so I be blazing through bread. Basic shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I like peanut butter jelly sandwiches, I don't mind. And I, I'm out of hot dogs. I think I'm down to my last two hot dogs. Just basic shit like that. 
But I, you know, I appreciate you guys super chatting me because it helps a lot. 856 for like almost eight pounds? Nah. But you guys help me out a lot, man. And I appreciate that shit. Real shit. This is like real life we doing out here, man. And I'm out here in these streets trying to get this money. I know I'm doing it the slow way. I'm doing it the profitable way. I still got a whole half tank of gas. I've been driving since last night. I'm still at a half tank of gas since last night. So it's like, that's how we do, man. We kind of, we don't eat up our fuel. We, I'm not at the gas station, you know, dumping in $60, $70 every two days. Because that shit adds up. Because if you putting in $50 of gas every two days and you're driving, you know, Let's say 20 days a month. That's 500 a month you're spending on fuel. 500 a month. And you're like, damn, I just spent $500 this month on just fuel alone. The Jeep was running about 2 Gs a month. Don't seem bad, but I think I can do better than spending $500 a month, especially if you want to 10X your money. If I'm spending 500 a month, I better be making at least 5,000 a month. And I'm not making 5,000 a month. So right now I've got to, you know, get down to about, you know, 3,000, 3,500. Take some time out of YouTube every once in a while to get back in the streets and making some real money. YouTube is very slow money. It's very, I appreciate what you guys doing. Appreciate the sponsors on the channel. Not the sponsors, the advertisers. I don't have sponsors. I, I try to get Elon Musk, but you know what Elon Musk told me. <laughs> no, I really didn't. I'll be using that shit as a joke though. But for real though, man, it's like, I'll be out here trying to drive and if I can't 10X my money, man, what's the point of it? I'm not trying to 1X it or 2X it. I'm trying to 10X it. Like if I put in 50 bucks, I want to make at least 500 on that 50. And we got to, that's how we got to live. You know what I'm saying? We got to live in the profit margins. We can't live off of, you know, gross revenue. Because if it's taking you too much money to make the money, your gross revenue is not smart. Is that $12 for that? No, nah, I don't want that. Some other driver snagged that up quick. Yeah, so we live in profit margins right now. That's how we living. $3 to go nowhere. Nah, we cool on that shit. The people ain't even going nowhere. Well, I could take that and do a cash ride, I guess. Nah, I'm not gonna fuck with it. They they miss, they didn't set their shit right because they did a pickup, but they didn't do a drop off. The drop off was zero miles, so I could have went down there and did a cash ride real quick. Nine dollars to go clear out to Scottsdale. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. So where am I at? I'm coming up here right now. I'm back to Roosevelt. Yeah, but when you get something like that, a zero mile ride. You can always turn it into a cash ride. Uber X share? Nah, we cool on that. That was 10 bucks for Uber X share going like 16, 17 miles. Like, nah, man, we good. We good. I'm down to 11% AR. I'm headed back over here to Roosevelt. I'm going to make a right turn and park on the side of the road right where I was. Yeah. Okay, I see that little area right there. I don't want that. That's the area I want right there where I was. But that car is doing it. Turn. No, I'm gonna make I'm gonna turn over here. Let me make a right instead of a left. Let's try a different area to, to hit the towers for the servers. Alright, I'm going. Whoops. I don't wanna go that way. Seven dollars for eleven miles. Nope. Cool on that shit. Cool on that. Yeah, but now nah, there's a way, you know. If you can get out here and, and, you know, really focus on profits, don't focus on much else except profits. $20 to go down to 39th Street, multiple stops. Nah, we cool on that shit. I'm not doing no multiple stops tonight. Nope, nope. But focus on profits, you know what I'm saying? And don't be upset at, at these people who say, well, you should be taking these rides and doing these rides and staying busy and staying. You know what? You're probably right to a certain degree, but. The, the more you drive your car, the more you put in at risk for damage. And if your profits can't fix that damage, then what's the point of you doing all that driving? You know what I'm saying? You can't sit up there and be like, oh yeah, I'm making all this money, I'm making all this money, but you're making a lot of gross, not covering much profit, then the day you damage your car, you don't have any profits to fix your car. You're sitting there like, damn man, I gotta come up with $600 to fix my car. But your profits wasn't enough to cover the bills you got at your house, plus your car payment, car no insurance, plus this new $600 repair you got. I just did a $300 repair on mine. Easily could have went to a shop and really got, got raked over the coals for that. But I said, I'll just spend the $300 out of my pocket and I'll go and, you know, just do the labor myself. I just got to do something like that. If you don't have profit margins and you're living on the gross and that's all you're living on is the gross, you're going to be in the negative. And I mean credit card negative, loan negative, 
payday loan negative, you're going to be in the negative because every time something pops up, you don't got the profit margins sitting there in the bank because you've been focusing so much on gross, gross, gross. The moment a problem happens, you don't have a rainy day fund because you've been taking 50 cent a mile rides, dollar a mile rides, blazing through gas, blazing through tires, blazing through, you know, brakes and all this shit costs money. It all costs money. And it's going to hit you at a time when you ain't got that money. And you're going to sit around like, damn, man, had I just parked that damn car and just not went nowhere, it wouldn't be damaged right now. See, shit like that. 16 miles for $9. There's no profit margin there for me. Because 16 miles, when I'm getting 25 miles a gallon, that's 16 miles. This is going to take me about 2 $3 to make it. So that's $6 I'm making with that ride, actually. I'm only making 6 bucks. So six bucks in about 26 minutes, so 30 minutes, I'm making $12 an hour with that ride profit. I'm making $12 an hour profit. So at $12 an hour profit, 10 hours is going to only give me $120 a day in profit. That's it. $120 a day profit. Count up, add up all your monthly expenses, all your monthly shit, and even estimate as best you can all this shit divided by 30 days. That's how much you need to come up with every single day just to cover what you know. That's no emergency shit. That's just what you know. Anything can happen. You could pop a tire. You could break a window. Anything can happen. Just what you know. That's what. And once you come up with that amount, throw fuel in there. Throw everything in there. Anything over that amount is what you have a, a really much like a gross profit on in your life. So you like, oh, that's my life gross profit because you still got to look at net profits which involves depreciation and things like that on your car, wear and tear the actual value of your car being banged up, beat up, trying to, trying to go trade it in. You got 103,000 miles on it, trying to trade it in, but most cars are the same year, probably got 50,000 miles on it. So you're doing double the amount of miles. Ain't nobody buying your car with 100,000 miles when they can buy the exact same one with 50,000 miles on it. So you got to look at those kind of values you're running your cars into the ground and you're not being compensated at by these apps. You're driving it like it's a normal commuter car. It's not a normal commuter car. So you gotta, you know, think this business through, think it through, understand what profits mean and drive on the profit margin. Don't drive on the gross margin, drive on the profit margin. Yeah, I'm still sitting here chilling. They sending me garbage rides down the pipe. Airport reservation, let's see the details. Trip is not available. That's cool. Your mom's not available. <laughs> it's like airport res. You know what? I'm not worried about that shit right now. Let's see what else they got in here. They ain't got nothing. It's a bunch of trash in here. That one's at 1030 Friday night. So like it'll be right down where I am right now. This is where I am right now. It'll be going all the way over to Tempe for 16 bucks, which is not bad. Because I always like to do my $15 rides from downtown to Tempe. So it's a dollar more than what I, I call, you know, what I'm comfortable doing. It's actually a dollar more. So I'm okay with that. But for the most part, yeah. Listen, from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, I'll be getting an extra dollar fifty, And then I'll be getting $3. What? That's like an extra hot dog with the bun, with the relish for every ride. Dollar a mile right there. Nah, we cool on that. They can kind of sit and chill. They ain't trying to go nowhere. Not for 475. Uber ain't really trying to get them people picked up. If Uber wanted them picked up, Uber would be like, you know what, dude? Go ahead, throw that dude like seven dollars for that. Shit. I'll be down there because that's almost two dollars a mile. I'll be down there. That nah. Half mile away to take them a mile. Nah, I'm cool on that. We're trying not to do no three dollar rides all night. We got a couple of Waymo's up here. There's a Waymo. There's a Waymo. And then behind them looks like a little Lexus. Yeah, but no, I'm not. I'm not trying to do no little cheap dust rides. No, we're cool on that shit. Let them, let them deal with it themselves. For three dollars, four dollars, stuff like that. No, we not messing with those. We ain't doing that. Nope, nope. I swear I just thought I saw Juan Vargas cruising down the street. I swear I thought I saw him. Inbox. No, that was an hour ago. Got a $3 tip. I'm not worried about that. Not worried about it. So far, like I said, there ain't nothing out there. If something pops up, I'll let you know. Lo and behold, we got lift on the board. I was sitting down by these people. 
and it was like a little quick trip right here. It was like 1.32 miles. I was right there, shot straight down the street, picked them up and brought them up here. That was it. I mean, it was real quick. It was like a third of a mile away. Then I took them a mile to their house. For I couldn't say no to it. It was like four bucks for that. I was like, all right, forget it. And now we got, you know, Uber trying to get back in the game now. That was my last trip on Uber. I was headed to go pick up some dude. It was like maybe a mile. And then he just canceled. So I got the three bucks. So I drove like a mile for 367. I was like, all right, I guess so. Then that's when I was sitting at the quick trip. And I was sitting at the quick trip after he canceled. And these people hit. I was sitting right there on the quick trip. Shot straight down the street, picked them up, took them back. So basically, I went like, I got seven bucks, almost eight bucks for going like two miles. <laughs> like screwing around. Look at these. Damn, Wild Horse Pass. Holy shit. Yeah, that's way down south. That's way, 23 bucks to go that far down south? Nah, I'm cool on that. Like I said, they're not throwing out too many good rides right now. They're throwing out a bunch of nature hikes, and that's what Uber's been doing the whole time. They've been throwing out, and that's why I had to just turn Uber off, and I just went over to Lyft. Because after that little quick cancel, I was like, ah, forget it. Let's go over to Lyft. And Lyft actually came through with that little quick ride. Ain't too bad. Like I said, ain't made a lot today. So I made, with the 35 plus the 20 makes 55, then add that. So about 60 bucks so far for the day. So not bad, 60 bucks, including Lyft. But it's like, yeah, got to get something going. And here we go right about, let's turn Lyft on. As soon as you turn Lyft on, Uber going to start sending me stuff. Because Uber's like, no, no, don't drive. Lyft, drive for us. And they're going to send a bunch of garbage, like less than a dollar a mile garbage. It'll be like three miles to somebody for three miles for a total of about five bucks. Look at that. 25 miles, $16. Nah, nah, we're cool on that. Like I said, Lyft, I don't know what Lyft's deal is. They just cannot get it going. They just, like I said, their rates are way too low. They're trying to get customers. I understand what they're trying to do, but their rates are way too low. And that's 11 bucks to go down by my house from downtown. And I'm like, I'm not ready to go down there yet. No. I at least want to hit, you know, like maybe a hundred bucks a night or something. $13 to go north. Uber X share. That's about 18 miles with $13. No. Then it's $721 right here for about six bucks. Nah. And I think that right there is taking somebody to the airport because it's Frontier Phoenix. That's picking up somebody at the airport. I mean downtown and taking them to the airport almost five miles away for seven bucks. Nah. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna let somebody else take that airport ride. But yeah, lift right now. Lip ain't even sending me nothing else because they know that they they were trying to bombard me with rides. Here's another one. Go down to Sky Harbor and pick somebody up. It's $13 for like 19 miles. Nah, we cool on that. We're not going to do that. No. We'll call it good. Let me go back in here. Yeah, we don't want to do anything like that for right now. Lip's got to, you know, come up with a plan. They've got to come up with a plan. I'm still five star. Hey, hey, hey. Three years, a five-star driver. I'm the shit. Yeah, they like, dude, you are a piece of shit. Go pick our people up, Jeff. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. Let's see what they talking about. 456 for that. Now nah, let's go do that. It's quick. It's quick. All right. Let's swing around the corner real quick. Pick up Larkin. Not too bad. It's about four bucks for a mile. I could do that. That's all right. Let's go back on lift and turn them off real quick because they're not doing much anyways. Go offline. So we're done with them. I said, I'll be doing $4 a mile all night. I could do that. But I'm not going to be sitting up here, you know, messing with these 50 cent a mile, dollar a mile. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Like, don't even bother me with that. Just leave that shit right where it's at. So we're going to cruise around the corner, pick up Larkin. All right, there's no traffic. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. All right. Where are we at? He's right down here on Roosevelt. All right. Everybody's coming from the same little party area right there. This ain't too bad. Easy pickups because I like to go down here and do a quick U-turn and come back. So let me pick up Larkin and give me some music going real quick. Yeah, so that was my last trip. 9.56 right there because they gave me a $5 tip. Check that out. It was told about a mile because it was where I was sitting, went and picked them up. There was uh, four people from West Virginia, so I shot around to the little party area and just dropped, dropped them off at their hotel. So that was it. Almost 10 bucks for a mile right there. 
Love those little short trips like that. I could do that. That's why I stay downtown because everybody's here from out of town. They need rides to and from their hotels to the clubs and like the restaurants and stuff like that. They were at this little restaurant club. So it was like, hey, we just, and it was four of them. Easy ride. We were laughing and joking, you know, cruise back. It was like, what kind of car is this? I was like, this is a BMW 330i. It was like, man, she's like, I drive a 2016 Chevy Silverado. <laughs> I was like, hey, we can supercharge that. Trust me, I can make that fast. <laughs> she was rolling laughing. She was like, we're at two different levels. I'm nice and slow and I love my big truck. She's out in West Virginia. She's like, I love my big old truck. I'm just nice and slow. I was like, oh no. I said, like, you got the 5.3 Vortec. I'll have to supercharge that. She was like, yep, that's my engine. I was like, I know it, trust me. I know Silverados. Yeah, I got some pretty quick trucks, man. But yeah, she was pretty cool though. So that was that one right there, 956. Let's see what else they got. Hey, some Whataburger. What kind of money is that, motherfucker? 523 for some Whataburger? Like, shit, not me. I can keep that shit. We gonna go out somewhere else. Let's, let's see what else they got coming out of the pipe. Man, damn, this motherfucker over here is drunk as a skunk. Holy shit. Yeah, they over there drunk. She, he falling all over the place. His friend was like grabbing his leg or whatever. He fell and his friend was grabbing his leg. I'm going to park right here real quick. $16 to go down to Tempe. I don't know. Based on the radio, I don't know. That looks good. That looks good. $16 for that. But like I said, I can get 10 bucks for going one mile if I just stay around Matt. I can go 10 bucks one mile or get 16 bucks for like 13 miles. That's an extra 12 miles I'll be driving for no reason at all. So sometimes it's like the kick into my areas, kind of cruise around. Hopefully, you know, I keep getting tips tonight. I got that one. I ain't got no other tips. Then I got the 20 in my pocket. So that was the 44 plus the 20, make it 64, 64. And then I got Lyft. I think I only did $4 on Lyft so far. Four bucks on Lyft. To put that at almost 70 bucks. Yep, almost $70. Not quite, but almost. So... Is it not even at a hundred bucks and it's almost one o'clock in the morning? It's like I don't know what the deal is with these ragamuffins. Let's turn lift on real quick. Man, this motherfucker, she done fell in the bushes. What the hell? Eleven dollars for 16 miles? No, I can get 10 bucks for one mile. Why do I want to go 16 for 11? I'm cool. I'm cool. Oh yeah, she fell. She's in and dude just sat next to her. She's in the bush back there. She's in the bushes. All right, now we got a little bonus action going. Give me a short trip. Six dollars for like three miles. Six dollars for two miles. What do we got going? Yeah, she fell in the bush back there. She's done. Because <laughs> earlier he was like falling and grabbed his leg or whatever. Let's see what this one is right there. Oh, no. Hell no. Because that'll be eight dollars for like, you know, five, six miles. I don't want that one. Dismiss that. Let's not do that one. Because I got the three dollar bonus. So I'm going to see what I can use it for. Hang out down here for a while. See if I can get some extra money. Uh, what's Uber sitting at? Nothing right now. Let's turn them off. 13%. Hey, hey, 33% canceled. So I'm going up. Still no update. I'm not updating yet. I'm not ready for the update. See, I need extra money. I need extra money. Y'all got all these crazy things happening on these apps, but y'all ain't got no extra money. Hey, let's do that right there. It's about three miles, six bucks. Yep, let's do that. Let's go pick up Ryan from Highball. Whoops. All right, man. I'm telling you, this is what I do. I like to sit around here and just do these little short hops all day. You know, six bucks here, six bucks there. Park my car. You know, let it relax and chill. Not burning no tires, no brakes. Which way is he? Is he behind me? Nah, he's ahead of me. All right, we can go up north and get him. Okay, so I came to this little restaurant right here. And I don't see where this guy is. So I'm going to pull around to this side over here. I don't see him anywhere and he's not moving. I don't like that shit because you know what? I'm When I try to come pick somebody up, I'm trying to get some fucking money, man. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to cancel this motherfucker and keep it moving. I don't like that shit. It's like, don't sit there and waste my motherfucking time, man. Don't like that shit. I'm going to cancel him and get out this fucking parking lot and I'm going to head down this way. Yeah, don't, don't fucking play with me, man. I don't like when motherfuckers waste my time. So... Like I said, I pulled up there. He was just sitting in the restaurant. He wasn't moving nowhere. He was just kind of hanging out, chilling and shit. So, nope. So, Liv is going to be stuck with me, like, declining a whole bunch of their shit now. Because they they had a chance to give me a good ride. But they didn't tell that motherfucker who they were sending. They should have been like, hey, man, this is Jeff. Get outside. 
because this motherfucker don't care about this goddamn fee. He really don't. Because I'm like I said, if anybody knows where Highball is, if you come to Highball off of Seventh Street, you're pulling into an alleyway. So I'm creeping out the fucking alleyway with the decline on, because I'm ready to decline this motherfucker. I'm, I'm not sitting no goddamn forty thousand dollar car in no goddamn alleyway waiting on people. Next to Highball is an alley right behind Payway. There's nothing back there. And it says the entrance is on 7th Street, which is cool, but the cars have to go down the alleyway. I'm in a fucking alley in a nice-ass car. So, no, nah, this shit ain't happening. So I said, fuck it, you know, I just, I canceled his ass. Keep it fucking moving. I'm going to go back downtown again, and I won't leave downtown. I'll just stay down there. So the people who need to get downtown, hopefully they find a fucking ride. I'm going back to where the surge at, a bunch of short trips and shit down there. Don't pull me off my fucking shit. Look at that, fuck him. $22 go like 34 miles. You know what? Let's just do lift like this real quick. Because these raggedy motherfuckers are the ones that got me out of my zone anyways. So let's get rid of them. Like I said, they should have they should have did better than that. Don't have me sitting in no motherfucking alleyway waiting on somebody and they ain't even moving. The icon, I don't know if he was getting off work or if they was closing the bar. Don't make me no fucking difference. If my car is pulling up, be ready. Otherwise, I just cancel that shit and keep it moving. These ain't no $40, $50 fucking rides. These is cheap ass rides, so you got to get up off your ass and get it moving. Otherwise, shut that shit down. Fucking call it good. I'll jump on another fucking app. That's too far away. Almost four miles away. Except, nah, nah. That's like almost 11 miles for 977. Cool on that shit. All right, so I'm back downtown cruising, looking for a place to park. You know, ten dollars for 14 miles when I can get ten dollars for going one mile. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. So I'm cruising down here looking for somewhere to park. I hate the fucking scout rides as I'm driving because they got a lot of construction and shit down here. I don't want to have my eyes off the road and end up bumping into somebody's shit. 262. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck no, fuck no. No, man, like I said, it's what? One o'clock in the morning and Lyft is still sending out rides less than bus fare. And it's one o'clock in the morning. They should automatically cut off bus fare at a certain point. They should be like, you know, at this point in time, we're going to cut off bus fare. Hey, there's a good ride. 10 bucks for about three miles. Let's see if they give it to me. Let's see if they give it to me. If they don't, that's cool. I'll just bounce over the lift. Lift turned me off, I think. No, not for $3. Nope. Okay, I'll match that other fucking ride right now. Let's go over here and let's see. Okay, so I can drop down, swing around, and pick that motherfucker up right here. So let's do that. I'm going to turn Lyft off in a second because Lyft's going to keep sending me shit. So, yeah, let's hurry up and turn Lyft off real quick. All right, so we're going to turn right here. Pick up Kafufu. No, nah, it's Kehu Hahulani. Motherfucking ass, that's Hawaiian. Kehi Hahulani. <laughs> What's your motherfucking name? Kehu Hahulani. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> That shit funny this motherfucker. K how Motherfucking ass. My name is K Hu Hu Fucking Kukabara. <laughs> At my first stop. And you'll never believe where I am. That's right. Right on the map. This is the circle K I was sitting at earlier. So I'm sitting at Circle K. And she was like, hey, do you want anything? I was like, uh, no. I said, actually, they got chocolate chip cookies by the cash register. Let's see if she gives me some chocolate chip cookies from the cash register. <laughs> They're cool. That was a pretty cool trip. I love that right there. Let me turn down this street here. Let's get out. I think I can get out. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this way. I think I can get out. No, but they were pretty cool though. Pretty cool. And then the trip ended up being 1162 because it got a little wait time on it. It was increased. So two and a half miles, 1162. Not bad. And they bought me cookies and milk. Yeah, she was like in there and she was like, oh yeah, we decided, I was like, wait a minute, if he wants, because it was two girls, she's like, wait a minute, if he wants chocolate chip cookies, get him some milk, so they bought me some milk, so now I got chocolate chip cookies and milk, these girls are crazy, we were here dying laughing, I was like, y'all did not just buy me some milk, she says, no, because you can't have chocolate chip cookies without milk, I was like, you know what, you're right, <laughs> so I was like, hell yeah, so I'm going to go somewhere and park and eat my chocolate chip cookies and milk in a minute. It's what, 1.30 in the morning? I'm done with my coffee anyways. I got another cold coffee over here. It's probably warm as hell by now. But yeah, they bought me a pack of cookies, real nice big soft cookies. And then they got me a milk. I was like, 
man, these people are too cool. And I'm so glad I got my Beamer fixed. I'm back with the Beamer books. Beamer books. But now I got Beamer chips. This is what's even better. I got Beamer chips. Right, I'm trying to find out where the hell am I going. Right, I'm going to cut over and go back up 7th Ave. Uh oh, I just heard a train. What the hell? What the hell was that? I just heard a train. Uh, is this car not going or something? Fuck. I'm gonna go then. If you ain't gonna go, then I'm gonna go. Motherfucker, they had the goddamn green light and they just sitting there at the light. They had the green light and they just sitting there. I got a red light. They ain't going nowhere. So I said, fuck it, I went. I said, you gotta tell me twice, motherfucker. Shit. And for all I know, they could've been trying to set me up to kill me. I'm like, who the fuck stops at a green light in the middle of nowhere? They just, and I'm, they're just sitting there. And I'm like, I'm at the red light trying to make a right turn. They're at the green light trying to go straight. And they're not going nowhere. So before I get killed, I'm going to go finish my motherfucking cookies and milk somewhere. Because you, I'm I got cookies and milk. You're not about to fucking kill me before I eat this shit. You can kiss my ass on that one. <laughs> I'm going to try to show you all this cookies and milk. This shit's cool as hell right here. Hold up for a second. This shit's funny. So there's my cookies right there. So I got those cookies. And here's the milk they bought me. Check that out. Little moo cow. But yeah, they got me some fucking cookies and milk. Check that shit out. Coolest girls ever, man. Love it. Love it. Okay, so it is officially my break time. Got my milk. Got my cookies. It's time to get down. I'm going to kick back. I'm over here by what? The Renaissance right now. So I'm over here by the Renaissance. And this is where, like I said, this is my office right here. I tell everybody, this is my office. My office is not in this car. That car is just like the way for me to get to my office. This city is my office. I love it down here, man. It's like so beautiful. People in there having drinks and everything. Everybody's kicked back and I'm outside about to get it in. All right, I'm sitting over here eating my lunch and the coolest shit I just saw, check this out. So you know how we always fuck on these crusty dusties and shit like that? I'm like, the next time I gotta cancel a motherfucker. I'm not gonna call it canceling. I'm gonna call it cutting dust. I'm finna cut these dusty motherfuckers. That's what it is. I'm gonna use my little dust cutter button. So next time I gotta cancel your ass, oh, I'm gonna call it cutting dust. Motherfuckers like, what you doing? Shh, man, I'm about to cut dust. Fuck this shit. I gotta get rid of this crusty, dusty motherfucker. They taking too long. They coming out the building too long. I'm about to cut dust. I'm the fucking dust cutter motherfucker. <laughs> Just got there with my milk and cookies. <laughs> Hey, that's my, oh shit, and they gave, oh, that was that, I was about to say, and they gave me a tip? No, forgot it was an increase because I had to take a little extra time. All right, bet, bet. So that's that 1162 for about two miles, really it was about three, because I had to go around the corner and pick them up. That one right there was about two miles. Like I said, all these, these are all short trips. So I've done this, 56 plus the $4 on lift puts me at 60, plus the 20 in my pocket puts me at 80 bucks. 80 buckaroos, man. And tonight is going to be my official night back. Last night was a fluke. That was my test run. Had to do some motherfucking Uber Eats and everything because they were screwing with me. Tonight, they're actually doing me okay. Oh, they're going to give me a reservation too? Hold up. Wait a minute. These dust cutters? Wait a minute. What time is this at? 9.36 p.m. December the 8th, which is tomorrow night. 9.36. I'll be picking up Stapley and taking them to 40th Street. Hmm. All right, so that means I got two reservations tomorrow, back to back. One downtown and then one in Tempe. So that's tomorrow night. There we are right there. So the first one is at 936, and that's tomorrow night, 936. Wait a minute, where is this concert going to be at? Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to figure that one out. I'll leave it there. I need to figure out what that's all about tomorrow. I'll figure it out. But maybe they got another reservation popping up in there it's sooner or later, too. I don't know. I'll take a look at it. I'll figure that out. Just got through eating my little crusty, dusty-ass cookies. I got my dust cutter button ready for the rest of these slow motherfuckers. I got $3 boost until 2 a.m. The $3 boost. Did I get my boost on my last one? Oh, shit. Hold up. $3 boost until 3 a.m. Uh, 15 bucks to go 11 mile, 37 Ave. And no, that's way too far out. 37 Ave. I'm downtown right now. I'm on 3rd Ave. So I got to go 37. That's 34 like city blocks. And 11 miles. Nah, I'm cool on that. that. That's cool. That's about, nah. Yeah, get that to somebody else. Because I'm kicking back, relaxing right now. 
Let me go see what the lift's got. Maybe lift got a surge out there. These old crusty, dusty motherfuckers. Let's see what they got. Man, them people were so cool with that girl. What's her name? K. Haolani. That was her name. She said, you pronounced my name right. I said, what's up, K. Haolani? She was like, you pronounced me. And the girl was, was like, did he just pronounce her name right? She says, yes, there's nobody ever pronounces my name right. I was like, you know what's funny? I was messing with you at first. <laughs> I said, because I was like, what's your name? Kihu Wahoo. <laughs> she was laughing and cracking up laughing. Right now, these motherfucking apps ain't getting me straight. These motherfuckers about to get cut like some dust. I'm about to dust cut these motherfuckers. Goddamn dust cutters. But, all right. I'm about to turn on Lyft. And I guarantee the moment I turn on Lyft, Uber going to send me something. Watch. Never fails. Let's go. What you got? What you got? Oh, that was a cool little Chevy S10. 418 for four miles? Nah, we're not going to do that. Got to come better than that, Lyft. Come better than that. I mean, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. There's another one. Mm -hmm. Nope. Can't do that either. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not in the mood for fucking $3 rides right now. I'm really not. I know a lot of people probably need to get home and shit like that. I mean, these rides are so short. I mean, you're better off just walking home, man. Just walk home at that fucking point. I mean, you're waiting around for a $3 fucking ride. Just walk home. Get it over with. I mean, you probably need to cool down any fucking way. Just walk home as a cool down. <laughs> jog if you have to, motherfucker. Add a little pep to your step and jog. Get a little fucking midnight workout. We're going to call it the Uber workout plan. That's when the motherfucker keeps climbing your ass and you ain't getting no ride home. You're on the Uber workout plan. $28 go to Scottsdale? Hell no. Man, it's 20 miles north. Shit. And I'm going south. It's like, motherfucker, that's way too far out. 20 miles north and I need to go south? Nah, cool. Yeah, but we're going to put the ass on an Uber workout plan. They're like, well, what's that? It's when you keep getting declined and your ass tired of fucking waiting, so you just start walking. Go jog, do something. Fucking do some chin-ups, pull-ups, or whatever the fuck on the way home. You find a tree branch. It's the Uber workout. By the time you get home, you're going to be like, man, I got a full fucking workout in for the past hour. Plus, I didn't have to pay for an Uber ride. These motherfuckers kept declining me the whole time. So I had to do the Uber workout plan. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker they be like in the month oh my god shelly you look like you've been losing weight what's going on with you you've been eating right no oh, bitch i'm on an uber workout plan these motherfuckers keep declining me see shit like that you ain't gonna eat no food for 254 at two o'clock in the morning that's part of the uber fucking nutrition plan you ain't getting that fucking food <laughs> you're on a diet right now motherfucker you ain't getting that food you wanna if you ever want to be on a fucking diet Keep ordering Uber Eats and do shit like that. I guarantee you're going to lose fucking weight because ain't nobody bringing that shit to you. You're like, motherfucker, how are you getting so small? I keep using Uber Eats, but ain't that fast food? Well, it is, but I don't add a tip, so I don't ever get my shit delivered. <laughs> motherfucker, shit like that. Fuck that. No, $5 and five. Nah, I'm cool. These motherfuckers on workout plans and diet plans and everything all fucking night. Shit. Y'all need to get y'all shit together, you bunch of dust cutters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the Uber workout plan. What the fuck is that? I keep getting declined. <laughs> I got to fucking walk home, motherfucker. Like, shit, you're in shape from that. Yeah. Just just keep ordering fucking Ubers, and I guarantee you're going to be in shape in about a month. These motherfuckers don't pick up nobody with these cheap-ass fucking fares. Like, shit. But how? what's your diet plan looking like? Should I just order everything on Uber Eats? That's nothing but fast food, though. Isn't that bad for you? Not with Uber Eats, because these motherfuckers don't deliver. <laughs> it's like, you ain't going to be eating for like a month straight. Keep fucking ordering shit off Uber Eats. If you don't add a tip, motherfucker, you're going to lose a lot of weight real fast. <laughs> this is what happens when they got this. They got two minutes to give me a trip. Two minutes. They're not giving me shit on the map right now because they know I won't take it unless I see where I'm going. Because it's like Sweet Rotter Ave. Frontage Road and Sweetwater Ave. I'm like, where the fuck is that at? I'm like... Give me a map. They need to have maps on these damn trip radars. So when they're giving us stuff, throw it on the map a little bit. Just say, hey, you know what? This is on the trip radar, and this is the map. This is where you got to end up going. Because if you don't throw it up there, I'm like, I don't know if that shit's west, east, north, south. I don't know where the fuck that's. I'm not taking that shit. Because I might fuck around, accept it, go pick the people up, then find out I'm going way the hell in the direction far from where I want to be. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning. 
I need to start working my way towards my house now. So I'm downtown Phoenix. I like to have some going south, maybe even Tempe. But Tempe, I'm not doing Tempe for less, no less than $12. I'll give you motherfuckers a $3 discount. You get a $3 discount, $12 to Tempe, because normally I don't do less than 15. I'm giving you 12. But like I said, with this little $3 fucking boo shit y'all got, it don't make a difference anyways. Y'all gonna make it 12 no matter what. Hey, we're gonna do a nine dollar trip and give you three dollars, Jeff. It's twelve dollars a tempe. Ain't like you're really doing much. Cause you know that shit should already be twelve no matter what. But whatever. In the meantime, I need to get my car fired up and start heading back towards uh Circle K. I ain't really used no gas tonight either. I mean, I made about, let me see, 50, 60, about 80. I made about 80 bucks so far. 80 bucks and some cookies. So the cookies probably worth, in my opinion, the cookies are worth. $400. So I'm going to say I made $480. <laughs> You're right. $22 to go to Avondale. Wrong direction. Yeah, so my cookies were worth 400 bucks. It was three chocolate chip cookies from Circle K. $400 cookies, which is way more expensive than them free fucking hot dogs from Uber. Look at that shit. $3 jack and a crack. Man, these motherfuckers is crazy. $3 at 2 o'clock in the morning to get some food. These motherfuckers is up playing on their telephones and shit, supposed to be in bed, and they sitting around, they got a flashlight under the motherfucking comforter. Let's order some Uber Eats. Yeah, just have them sit it by the window, Jimmy. Like, fuck that. Special instructions, sit it by the window where the dinosaur is on the fucking ledge. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Little fucking kids playing on their fucking phone, getting goddamn jack in the box at two o'clock in the morning. Motherfucking mommy looking at the window like, what the fuck is a BMW doing pulling up in our front of our house? This motherfucker walking up to Jimmy's window with a bag of fucking tacos. Like, hold on for a second. You motherfuckers go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> They're like, oh shit, we got caught, Jimmy. <laughs> These motherfuckers need to quit playing on their fucking phones. Ain't nobody in their right mind delivering no tacos at no fucking two o'clock in the morning for three bucks. Like, shit. That's motherfucking crackhead prices. You be seeing these crackheads walking around the city. They the ones who grabbing these orders and shit. I'm like, well, I'm going to be walking that way anyway. Yeah. You order that shit at 2 o'clock in the morning, crack it at your door by 6 a.m. holding your food. Took that motherfucker four hours to walk all the way to your house. Well, I had to stop off under the bridge and talk to Sal. <laughs> motherfucker holding your bag the whole time. You got crackhead fucking tacos. Like, man, you don't fucking stop ordering shit at 2 o'clock in the morning. Take your ass to bed. Quit fucking around these phones all the time. Okay, let's see. What do I got? Well, it's 201, so let's fire this motherfucker up. Let's get ready to get our ass up out of here. $13, we're going down to Saharo and 14th Street. And... Damn. Saharo and 14th Street. I don't know where... 14th Street is going, you know, different. I don't know if that was going north, though. That's the whole thing. If that was going north, then that's not where I'm going. But if that was going south, that would have been good. But without a map on trip radar... Whoops. Without a map on trip radar, I'm not willing to take that risk. Motherfucker get in my car and I slide start riding. That bitch be going straight north up to goddamn Paradise, excuse me, Paradise Valley somewhere. I'll be mad as a motherfucker. They be like, Jeff, what happened? I'm like, man, this motherfucker got me to go up to Paradise Valley. You fucking sucker. You suck, man. That shit got me to go to Paradise Valley. He figured it out. Yeah, I'll be hot. I'll be pretty hot. But I'm going to drive south, hit Jefferson, take my ass to the house. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I make 80 bucks and I got some $400 cookies. I'm good on that shit.